Hello, YouTubers. All of them fine people out there in YouTube land. What I am doing here is I have an eye manifold. And as you can see, I have it on a vacuum. And what I wanted to do is go over with you about connecting another but look see this this device for some reason won't connect to the eye manifold look bluetooth's on I've turned it on and I've turned it off I've done everything I for some reason this device is not accepting bluetooth to fe features and I don't know why, so I'm not going to be able to mess with that device, so we are going to use this one. So that is why I'm using this little one, and we are just going to use this as a cool background. Now, look, I'm disconnected, and we're going to reconnect. Here you go. Now, as you can see, it doesn't read microns. I do not have temperature probes hooked up to the line. They are hooked just for my manifold. So, uh, there's my tool bag. Does anyone know what that is for? Steven, you asked me what I used for a head can. Let's see if I can do this. All I use is a headlamp. And I just mount my head it right to here. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so, can you see that? I just use a headlamp my headlamp strap around it so what I am doing so what I've done I have hooked up the beautiful eye manifold to my unit I have pulled the refrigerant into my condenser usually leave this hooked up like that this is normally on there and this is just twirled up with this goes in the side door of my van sure I'm not the only person watching this it keeps it in the side door of their van so what I have done here I have a yellow jacket I have a CPS these T's are no good. I was going to hook up my blue vac also, but I figured since I am not opening this system to atmospheric air, I really don't care about the vacuum when it's pulling. I have to check. Let's see what the old CPS says. Okay, now I have a straight air conditioner, and um, that's my equipment. I am going to do a system analysis on this, and we will see how my unit is running here shortly.